The Tech Deck Pro Series fingerboard has now been out for a couple of weeks, and in this couple of weeks, I have gotten a lot of questions. One of the main things I see people ask is what is the difference between the Tech Deck Performance Series board and the Tech Deck Pro Series? Anybody considering getting the Pro Series Tech Deck who also has the Performance Series board, this video is for you. Or if you don't have either of these, this video is also for you. <laughs> because today we are doing the ultimate comparison between these two fingerboards. This is the Tech Deck Performance Series fingerboard. This board has been out for some time now and you might remember this used to come in a plastic tube. Since then they've actually redesigned the entire package and now it's a box that opens up. Up until a couple weeks ago when the Pro Series was released, this was the best Tech Deck you can buy. For a low price around $12, this Tech Deck has a wooden deck and foam grip tape. So for a pretty low price, this board is not too bad. And now we have the Pro Series Tech Deck. Besides the parts on this board and that board, this board is under $15 and this one is $70. You heard that correctly. $70 for a Tech Deck. So is it worth the upgrade? Let's find out. I already made an entire video just about this board if you want to go check that out, but this is a comparison. One thing about the Pro Series is it does come in a ledge, but even call this $10, that means the board is still $60. From a distance, you can barely tell any difference. First, let's look at the shape of the board. Looking at the Pro Series board, it is 34 millimeters wide, whereas the Performance Series board is 32. The difference of how wide a board is is honestly just personal preference, and it really doesn't make a board pro or not pro. That being said, let's talk about quality. If you have the Performance Series board, you know that the edges are not sanded really at all. Is that the same for the Pro Series? Yes. They made a $70 fingerboard and didn't sand the edges. Out of everything that people are saying about this board, that is probably the thing I don't like the most. So if you want a board upgrade, this is not the way to go. Now let's talk about the trucks. The Performance Series board just has stock Tech Deck trucks and they're honestly just the same as any other Tech Deck. The Pro Series though did an incredible job with the trucks. I would honestly put these trucks in the top five best trucks ever made. The fact that the edges of this board are not sanded but the trucks are this good doesn't really make sense. Also, like I said in the other video, these bushings are also amazing as well. Some people are saying that the pivot cups keep falling out, which I can definitely see happening in the future. If we take a look at the wheels on the Performance Series board, these are pretty much basic Tech Deck wheels with the rubber film on the outside. All that the rubber film does is just gives this board a lot more grip and a little bit of a squeak. The wheels on the Pro Series though have actual bearings inside. You can also see that these are core wheels, which basically means there's an inside part and an outside part. The inside piece is a piece of plastic and the outside is rubber. And apparently this rubber can also peel right off of the plastic, which definitely isn't good. But they do have bearings inside, which are so nice. The grip tape on these boards are way different. The grip tape on the Performance Series board is very slim and it also doesn't really have too much grip. If I'm being honest, I actually like just the sandpaper grip a little more than this stuff. In the scale of grip tape, this stuff is pretty bad. All the tricks that I do on this just feel very sloppy. The grip tape on the Pro Series board is a lot better, but also way thicker. I actually have no idea why this is so thick, but it is like unnecessarily thick. Even though the stuff on this board is thick, it definitely has a lot of grip. Also something I forgot to mention about these boards is that you can tell this is the exact same press to press the boards. Putting these boards directly side by side, this is the exact same shape. I definitely like that the board is wider, but I feel like they could have upgraded the shape a little bit more. If you have a performance series board, but you want to upgrade to something a little bit better, this is what I recommend doing. All you gotta do is upgrade the performance series board. I made a whole video just about upgrading this board and it actually turned out very good. I actually like the upgraded board so much, I used it probably as my main setup for about a month. If you already have this board, but want to spend $70 on this, I would honestly just recommend upgrading the parts on this setup. In the end, it's about the same price to upgrade the board, but you're getting much better parts. I'm not hating on this board in any way, I'm just saying if you were to spend the money, you're better off to upgrade. If you found this video helpful in choosing your next fingerboard setup, I would appreciate a like on this video. That is it for this video. I'll have both of these boards linked in the description if you want to get them for yourself, and I'll see you in my next video.